okay guys so let's start off the first thing I would like to do is to make a new camera and uh, I'm gonna look into the camera and I'm gonna just change the settings over here uh, the heading I'm gonna set that to 15 the P I'm gonna set that to 0 the X value I'm gonna set that to 660 the Y to 0 and the Z to minus 1200 okay then what I'm gonna do is gonna go and I'm gonna grab a plane and uh, I'm gonna bring that down I'm gonna set that to minus 220 and uh, I'm just gonna bring it in and uh, increase the size just like this and uh, a little bit like this and uh, in the object tab I'm gonna set the height and width segments to 1 and 1 and uh, we want to increase the width as much as we can because we don't want this thing to be seen over here and I'm going to duplicate this plane and I'm going to drag it up and I'm going to set the Y position to say something like 350 and then we're going to go make a new new plane and I'm going to set in the object tab I'm going to set the orientation to plus Z and uh, set the coordinate I mean the, uh, the height and width segments of this to one at one as well and then I'm going to increase this and uh, Increase the height segment height as well, and uh, just push it up so that it's kind of intersecting. And we want to move it back. So to move it back, let's go to a perspective view. Actually, let's not go to the perspective view. Let's just go to a, I mean, set the Z position to minus one thousand. Oops, we want a positive thousand, so it goes back. And uh, we want to move it up. Increase the size. Bring that down. No, so it's kind of intersecting height and uh, the width a little bit. Then over to the side. Okay, that looks uh, fair enough. And now we can get onto the texturing. Basically, we'll be making two textures. Okay, so uh, the first material. Let's jump on into it. The color channel. I'm gonna make it a you know a very light bluish color so I'm going to set the RGB value as follows that is 233 for the R the G values will be uh, 243 and the B value will be 245 okay next let's uh, check the reflection channel and we want to go to texture and we want to choose Fresnel and we want to set the brightness down to 0 and the mix strength to 20% and in the specular we want to set the width uh, we want to set the width to 40 and uh, the height to uh, 30 and uh, the uh, what we can do is we can just uh, delete one material we can just copy paste this material and we want to set the color of this to pure white we done and what we're gonna do is gonna go take this bluish material and drop it on your wall and the other two materials and drop it on the planes okay You know, since it, if you just hit a random button, let's see, uh, we get this crap, this thing which you know sucks lo looking. So let's get in some lighting. So we're gonna take a, a light, and uh, I'm gonna make it an omni light with an intensity of 65%, and uh, I'm gonna set the shadows to shadow map soft, and I'm gonna change the color of R to 180, the G value to 240. 240 and the BL is going to be like that itself and let's go to the details tab and we're going to set the fall off to inverse square physically accurate uh, the radius and the decay set that to uh, 500 centimeters in the uh, shadow tab we want to set the density to 90% uh, and we want to set the shadow map to 1500 by 1500 and I'm going to set the coordinates of the thing to uh, 200 and the y to 350 and the z value to minus 170 uh, actually I'm going to set the y to 300 and uh, the x to 250 ok doesn't be a problem let's just fix it uh, let me give you guys new values uh, the x is going to be uh, 8, 870 
the Z is going to be uh, 420 and the Y is going to be uh, something like 600 sorry I'm minus 600 uh, crap. X is minus 870 okay uh, let's create a new light. Uh, let's, go to the, let's go to the general chart. I'm going to set that to a omni light with a shadow of ray traced hard. And uh, we want to change the G values to 240 and uh, the B value to say uh, um, to say something like um, uh, 235. Uh, um, yeah, we're gonna set this to 250, that is the G value, and uh, 245 for the B value. And the intensity, we wanna drop that down to 65%. And if we go to the details tab and set the fall off to inner square physically accurate. And in the shadow tab, we wanna set the intensity to 90%. Okay, we wanna go to the coordinates and set the X value to 55, the Y to uh, minus 160, and the Z value to 40. Actually, the Y is going to be uh, 160 and the Z is going to be minus 40. Okay, there's our second light. For the next light, I'm actually going to take the first light and I'm going to duplicate it. And um, I'm going to the general tab, the details tab, actually the general tab, and just change the color over here. Um, so it's going to be just a slight change. The R is going to be 190 and the G is going to be 245 that's it and I'm going to change the position now coordinate star I'm going to set the X to uh, 165 P to uh, minus uh, 85 and uh, the Z is going to be uh, Z is going to be a 400 okay let's duplicate the slide I'm going to set the G value to 255 and the B value to 25 the intensity I'm going to set that to 40% and the detail step I'm going to set the radius decay to 250 and go to the coordinates and I'm going to set the X position to 400 uh, the Y position to minus uh, 350 sorry plus 350 and the sorry the Z position will be 350 and the Y position will be minus 70 Let's create one more light. I'm going to copy paste this one. I'm going to set that to 1000 uh, on the X. Uh, the Z is going to be 160. And I'm going to set the Y position to minus 40. And in the detail step, I'm going to set this back to 500. Okay, so now uh, our lighting is um, complete. And go to the render settings and uh, anti aliasing. I'm going to set that to a best effect of uh, global illumination effect ambient occlusion global illumination I'm gonna set the samples to low low you guys can put whatever settings you want I'm just gonna uh, reduce it a little bit and uh, let's just hit a render and see what we get so here is our final result and uh, hope you guys enjoy the tutorial I know I kind of screwed it up a little bad but uh, thanks for watching uh, like share comment and subscribe and I will see you guys later in further new tutorials. Bye.